The learning trajectory that we're carrying out with STC um, was initiated by STC from the Balkans division, um, the Western Balkans, and they have approached IDS and asked us to support them in um, developing their work and particularly in building their learning around Roma inclusion, uh, social inclusion with the Roma community in that region. And that work has um, developed into four key themes, I guess. One of which is discrimination. A second one is women's empowerment. A third one is exchanging and learning from each other's good practice. That's across STC offices in the region and with other partners. And the fourth one is mainstreaming education and employability for Roma inclusion. So the way the learning trajectory works is that um, we have a process that begins with a workshop um, that took place earlier this year in Romania. And that was a workshop where all the STC staff working on Roma inclusion in the region came together. And it will finalize with another workshop also in the region um, later next year. So it'll be a little bit more than a year in between. And um, within, between the two workshops. So in the first workshop, we defined what would be the key themes, um, which I've already mentioned. And then each a group, a learning group, um, has taken on each one of those themes. And um, our job from, S from IDS is to support each group in the learning process. So they come together uh, via Skype. And we have um, maybe four, five, or six meetings between the two workshops to, to discuss together the topic. And in between each meeting, they go away and reflect, and they have a small task, which may be to collect a piece of good practice, a case study, or it may be to go and do some interviews with project partners, or to do some reading and to reflect on their own experiences in, in their work. And they bring that back into the sessions, the Skype sessions. And so we're building up knowledge, um, really kind of drawing on people's experience and creating a, a, a learning space, a reflective space during the year. Well, I think the value of the learning trajectory as um, a methodology is that, first of all, it recognises that the participants have a huge amount of knowledge themselves, but they may not necessarily have time to reflect on it, and they certainly don't have much time to share it. So it creates a space for people to come together and share knowledge and reflect. Um, it also um, brings, it surfaces some issues that might not be apparent in the day-to-day -day work where you're just having to, where you're, where you're, when you're more task-oriented, particularly around, um, in this topic, social inclusion and how, and the intersectionality of um, exclusion and how poverty relates to other aspects of, of exclusion.